Welcome back everybody to the channel and if you're new welcome to the channel in the first place my name is Solchris and I will be the guy with the voice behind the video game. As you can see this is Chrono Cross which if you don't know this already is tied with Radiata Stories as being my favorite game of all time. I originally let's play this game as the very first project on my channel back in 2016. It is now 2020 in the midst of a COVID bit. And I was like, you know what, Soul? It's time to redo your favorite game because your original Let's Play sucks. Commentary was bad. Audio quality was bad. Everything was bad because it was my first time ever doing anything. So I hope to do this game proper justice. Um, honestly, I just want to jump right in. All I can say is I'm excited. And also, I don't talk during cutscenes. So enjoy that if you're new to this. So this guy is Surge. Every character has a portrait, which is something I absolutely love. In a lot of game, in some games, like especially Pokemon, I will rename characters after viewers, Patreon supporters, uh, people that donate, things like that. But for a traditional game like Chrono Cross, I stick to their traditional name. So this is Surge, and every character will be their normal name. So I hope that doesn't upset anybody, but... I'm here for the story, guys, and I hope you are too. Also, I'm here for the music, which you will learn to love as the greatest soundtrack a video game has ever had. But enough talk. We have plenty of time to talk. Let's hit confirm and get this game started. Nice and short, but to the point. We are at a very neat place. Ooh, we got Vaughn. I was like, where's the music? What is it, Serge? You look troubled. This is it. There's no turning back now. Boy, come on, Serge. Vaughn? Just you wait, Lynx. Today's gonna be your day of reckoning. Say your prayers. Not that it'll do you any good. <laughs> All right, you're going nuts. Search. So, uh, for anyone that knows this game, can tell that, wow, the character models look a lot better than normal. That is because I have done some stuff with the emulator settings to make them look a lot better. Now, every now and then, you'll see their faces kind of shift, but that's because in the original game, their faces would shift, but they're just a bunch of blocks back then. So this is a really nice change. I think. I think it'll look really nice. Oh, what's this? What's that crystal-like thing? Some kind of switch? Bugger. So close and you're so far away. Close enough. Um, so I do read all dialogue. I don't just like show it on screen, read in my head, and hope you guys can catch up. Because I don't like watching things like that. So I really appreciate when other Let's Players... Um, read the dialogue. So again, that is something I will definitely do. And that will allow you to experience... That'll allow you, sorry, the music suddenly distracted me. Um, that'll allow you to experience the, the, um, the terribleness that is my attempt to do a diverse array of accents. Um, I'm going to do combat here, but I'm not really going to explain it. I will do that in the future because I find these intro combats to be spoilers. So I don't really want to go over it, to be honest. Uh, fun fact, Vaughn, you see he has a boomerang. Um, if there were more than one people on one monsters on the screen, he would hit all of them or have a chance to hit all of them kind of thing. Um, you can see their percent chance hits. Like I said, we will go over that in the future, but I'm only going to do physical attacks right now because for the sake of this Let's Play, I am treating this first episode as a quasi tutorial and don't worry that'll stop after episode one except for where you know it's like oh hey this is how this thing works cool but it won't be like 
any form of in-depth, even though this one will be only quasi-in-depth, because honestly, you're smart people. You can figure it out as we go along, and you can ask me questions in the comments below. Speaking of the comments below, uh, two things. One, hit that like button if you're excited for this new series, because someone said, hey, soul, start asking people to hit the like button in the beginning, not the end of the video, and I said, okay. Um, but second thing, and most important thing is, let me know what you think of the balance between my voice and the game audio. Because looking at the volume meter, they're really close and that worries me, but I've also done uh, my research, or I've done my practices, my practice runs, and it sounds pretty much okay to me. But you let me know what you think. If you want the audio to be, you want the game audio to be higher or lower, let me know in the comments. And if you think it's alright, let me know that too. It does help me stay informed. Uh, or make decisions, I should say. But we're gonna go on to this nice little now glowing pad, and oh no, the music's gone away. And we're gonna go up. So one thing that's really neat about this game's beginning is that we always have Surge and the girl, but the third person is random amongst the 20 some odd, I think it's some over 20, I think it's in the 20s, selectable characters in the game. Oi, what the bloody age just happened? What are we doing out here? So Vaughn is the random one we got this round. Whoa, bugger. So high up. Is this thing floating? Did it feel like your body passed through the floor just now? It sure is some fault. Yes, yeah, Serge. You're right, mate. You've been acting all weird. Who knows what's up ahead? Just stay on your toes, yeah? So obviously Kid is meant to be Australian, and uh, well you've heard how good my Australian accent is, Arr! but yeah, um, as I stated earlier, this is my absolute favorite, one of my absolute favorite games of all time, tied with Radiata Stories, which I have a, a full 100% let's play on that, check it out if you haven't already. That was ominous. We Surge. Morning, Surge. Get up, sleepy head. Get up. Oh, God, I'm tired. Oh, this music. I'm going to gush over the music all the time in this Let's Play, by the way, because in my opinion, as the absolute best soundtrack a video game has ever had. I'm not lying when I say I listen to it nearly every day of the week, because every day in my classroom, I listen to it. I, I, I have it on when the kids are playing. I have it on low when we're doing lessons in literacy and math. I'm a teacher, by the way. <laughs> um, and I use uh, a lot of it during nap time, though lately during nap time, oh, check your bed, by the way, Lately during nap time, I've been listening to Skyrim, and if you just type in Ghibli Jazz, there's some really cool, 200 bucks, some really cool um, compilations of Studio Ghibli music in a jazz format. It's really good for nap time because it's just like, do 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 boom boom do do. It's it's nice. Who's this lady? Probably our mom. Good morning, Serge. You're finally up. The sun's already reached high noon. By the way, didn't you have plans to meet with Lena this morning? Lena came by to see if you were up, but you young men were still off in Never Neverland. Alright, Metallica. You shouldn't break promises like that. Girls can be pretty scary if you make them angry. By the way, isn't our mom kind of hot? The answer's yes. Hi, kitty. Oh. oh, that meow was really good. By the way, if you're new to this channel, I have a cat named Miss Pants. So you'll hear about Mrs. Pants quite a bit. I'm a goofball. I hope you enjoy. So, a few things you can do in this town that you can mess up if you don't do them right. But let's just talk to people for now. Sergi, check out this sawfish. Awesome, ain't it? Poppy caught it down south by the El Nido Triangle. Nobody likes going down there, though. They all say it's creepy. But this sucker sure looks tasty. 
Hmm. Also, you can see I could walk around during dialogue. That is only the case for some dialogue. Like for this guy, we can't do it. See? I can't move. No, Serge, what do you think of this sawfish? Have you ever seen one this size? Ha! <laughs> this is God B from the legendary Dragon King Palace. Wouldn't you agree, Serge? Say yes. Because there is a missable gift if you say no. You think so too? I knew it. I just knew it. It really is true. Then from out here on out, happiness will be rolling into my life. Business will pick up. Money will start pouring in. I'll be able to repair my roof, varnish my boat, buy a new sail. Eat as much squid gut pasta as I want to turn up in Termina. Ah, uh, life is good. That sounds disgusting, but you do you, man. Yeah, right. Who am I kidding? That would, be, that would definitely be too good to be true. Thanks anyway, Serge. <laughs> Thanks for playing along. Here's a little something for you. Give it to girl you like. Give it to girl you like? Wow, so that's how you speak? Have you just tell people you were a teacher? Ah! So I'll receive Komodo scale without lifting a finger. Wish, wish le I wish the legend was true, though. Dragon King Palace. There aren't enough dreams out there lately. Ha! <laughs> now, press square to access your um, items or go into the menu and you can actually look at them and read up on them. The colorful scale of a large lizard used to make the necklaces used to make the necklaces that are all the rage in Arnie Village. Now let's get straight to the point of why we want that. Because of this little guy. Talk to him. Hey Sergi! A lot of the little kids call us Sergi by the way. I think it's neat. You know what? I wonder if we named ourselves like Taco. Would they call us taco -y? I don't actually know. I've never named him anything but Serge. If you know, let me know in the comments. Boom! Comment fishing. Get it? We're in a fishing village. Oh god, I'm good. Do you know what's popular amongst the village girls these days? A necklace made from Komodo dragon scales. You know, those monsters that eat fire? I want to get some for Kiki, but there's no way I can beat those monsters. Oh no! If I don't do something like th about this now, Kiki might start liking Lolo. Boy, I'm in a fix. So, don't we have one? But, but, but wait a minute, Sergi, is that a Komodo dragon scale? No way! Is it real? Uh, Sergi, how about giving it to me? Please? Pretty please? Oh, come on, Sergi. I won't ask for another favor for the rest of my life. Now, please. Sure, no way or sell it for a thousand gold. He will get pissed. No way makes us a douche. Yeah, give it to him. But really? You're sure? Yes, all right. Thanks a million, Sergi. Here, l let me give you this. Put it to good use, okay? Serge received uplift. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Do you know what Pusho's favorite bo uh, food in the whole entire world is? Heckrin bones. She'd do anything to get her paws on one. She'd, even, she'd obey you for every command you give her if you give her one. That is a tip. So, let's explore in kind of an order that makes sense to what we just learned. Hi, Kiki. Isn't my Celine cute? Daddy found her by Lizard Rock. A lot of baby Komodo dragons play out there. I guess it's kind of like, I guess it's kind of like their hangout. And you know what, Sergi? Don't tell anyone about uh, what I'm about to tell you, okay? It's a secret. Lolo said he was going to get me some Komodo dragon scales. <laughs> what should I do? Oh, fuck. Nope. Don't worry. We got... We, you don't need Lolo. Sergi, don't be mean to... I wasn't being mean to your Selene. By the way, My Selene is a great song by um, Sonata Arctica. Hello there, Serge. Word has it that Komodo dragon scales are quite popular amongst the young'uns these days. You're collecting them too, huh? What's what to make a silly little necklace? That's right. You can get a head nod in there. Hey, hey, hey! Well said, Serge. You truly are man of the sea. They don't call me the Komodo Dragon expert for nothing. Let me give you some pointers. Clean out your ears and listen well, Serge. This is truly top secret. My super duper secret number one: rock and roll to trap the sucker. My super duper secret number two. Use the lay of the land and make a surprise attack. My su super duper secret number three. There's always one that likes to play tag. Run with all your might. Beware. These dragons are mighty cautious and run at, the si at high speeds. You must face them with your wits, courage, and tenacity. Use your lightning star and run like the wind. Whip past it with all your might. But I guess there's no point out running it. Anyhow, it's all about guts, my boy. So once you catch up, so once you catch up to it, you must fight. Kick that little sucker's butt. But don't get your own butt kicked. <laughs> That's about all I can teach you about the way of an expert. 
Now go, Surge, go for the gold and bring forth a brighter tomorrow. Heh, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, that was a bit dramatic for, you know, what we're doing. I love how that wind bit just... It actually moves. The wind chime just moves in the wind. It's, it's a nice little touch that they don't have to do. You know about Lizard Rock southwest of the village? I've heard the Mother Komodo Dragon comes out every once in a while. I've told Kiki numerous times not to play there, but she never listens to me. I guess kids will be kids. Fact. Fact. Kitty! We will talk to every kitty we see. That is a big fish. Oh, uh, hi, Serge. I was lost in my thoughts there. You know how Kiki's growing up so quickly? Sometimes I'm just amazed at how much she resembles her mother. Yeah, I guess my wife is like that, too. She's been very much like her mother since as long as I can remember. I guess that demonstrates how life continues to live on through generations. It's been about ten years since I became a fisherman. Back then, I still had other aspirations, but ended up succeeding my father. I guess you can say everything up here represents ten years of my life. Iron sharks, sawfish, six horned narwhals, you name it, they represent all my hard work and dedication. I love my job and I'm happy with my current lifestyle and all, but lately I get to thinking when I see Kiki about how I could have had a different future if I had chosen a different path 10 years ago. Yeah, looking at your daughter makes you be like, man, things could have been different. Kind of bad. Then I'd be living a completely different life than I am now. I'm not saying which would have been better, but I just wonder where the other path would have led me. I guess the longer you live, the more you think about another you that might have been. Oh, this game made me think about that a lot as a kid. Boy, life sure is complex. Oh, hey Serge, you want this? Ta here, take it. That was a weird inflection. The name that I made from a lion shark tooth ten years ago when I decided to become a fisherman. I don't need it anymore. I have my wife and Kiki watching over me. There you go. I'm glad you said that or else I think you're a bad father. Serge, receive the shark tooth. So, let's take a look. Shark tooth. An amulet Kiki's father made from a lion shark tooth ten years ago. When he decided to be a fisherman. Sorry my reading's so odd right now. I've been working on the computer all day. Um... So it's so my eyes are a bit strained, but I'm like, I want to play Chrono Cross. It's one of the greatest games of all time, so I need to go play it and be happy. So, I hate you. Yo, Sergi. Hey, Una. I heard you totally blew off Lena this morning. I didn't think you'd had it in you. But that was real gutsy of you. I guess that kind of shows her who's boss, eh? Don't tell her I said this, said so, but my sister's a bit uptight, you know? Uh, could be like, could you like break her in a little? You know, make her act a little more ladylike. You have my support all the way. I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. So now we know Lena has a sister. Fun fact. Explore this cart. Urgh. Serge found a new frame. Oh, looks like he found it. Oh well, go ahead, take it. It's on me. Thanks, lady. Serge received the shellfish frame. Uh, let me get... Guys, we're gonna try to get as many frames as we can in this game, and I'm gonna try to use different ones as we go so let me know when you're like hey soul change frame i'll back okay Boom. nice poster he's hot humana 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 she sure is pretty what a knockout that dancer mickey is the poor town of terminal has its share of dancers but no one i say no one compares to mickey but mind you i've never actually seen mickey dance oh how i'd love to see them jiggle uh talking about her arms of course Whoa, Serge, don't tell Grandma about this. Yeah, yeah, you horn dog. Yo, Serge, have you heard anything about the group of thieves up in the mainland? Uh, I haven't. You really haven't been keeping up, have you? It's pretty big news, even in El Nido. Those mysterious thieves have broken into a bunch of houses up in the mainland. They're cold-blooded bastards. They'll go to any extreme to get the money or jewels. Even the powerful nation of Pori can't seem to get a hold of them. I think they call themselves the Radical Dreamers? Wouldn't want to run to those bandits. Oh, wouldn't ya? Now, one of the best interactions in the game is right here. Why, hello, Serge. Do you want to hear about the real truth about the world? Insanity leads to chaos, then to solitude. The fruitless efforts of adding meaning to what is meaningless. A lone crimson tear falls to the sea. The echo of the remaining star cries to the infinite vacuum. The least I can do 
The least I can do is send my distant prayers over the wind of time, setting sail on dreams. Well, how'd you like it, Serge? Were you moved? I've been dreaming about becoming a poet since I was little. I want to cross the continent and make a name for myself just with just pencil and paper. Well, look at me. I'm in this puny village in the middle of nowhere, waitressing in this rundown shack. What you say about my restaurant? You can quit any time, you know. Yikes! Uh, just kidding, I was just kidding. <laughs> I was just saying how good the work environment is. Mm hmm So, talk to her again. Uh, yeah, you want to hear it again? Really? Thank you, Serge. That means you really like my poem. I'll make you an honorary president of my fan club. They let her do it again. They listen. It's the same bit, so we're not going to read it here. But... Well, Serge, were you moved to tears? Could you feel your heart melting? Do you think I can make it? Oh, how I'd love to cross the continent and take a gamble on my dream and talent. Waitressing in this rundown. You're fired. Yikes! I said I was kidding. I was just a joke. You should really lighten up a bit. Mm. I love that interaction. Speaking of interactions, no answer. It's just a barrel. No answer. It's just a barrel. No answer. It's just a barrel. Well, guys, I guess it's just. Oh, I hit the button again. Sorry. What you want already? I said I'm just a barrel. Fine. Just take it, man. Here. And we get another uplift from Barrel. I love that. It makes me think of the joke, you know, three people go into the, uh, the woods, run for something, one girl runs into the tree, and, and people come and shake it. Ka ka, the other hoo hoo, the other tree, tree. You know, the blonde joke. So, did you see where this adorable little guy <laughs> was uh, looking at? First, let's grab our chest, the ivory helmet. He was looking under the bed, another clue. Serge found the Hecran Bone. Now, if you played Chrono Trigger, you might remember the boss, Hecran. That is a nod to that boss, obviously. Hecran Bone, the leg bone of a wild Hecran, perfect for making stocks to be used in soups and stews. If you remember, after we were so nice to that little boy, also, fun fact, after we picked up the Hecran Bone, that dog was chasing us. I love that eye to detail. Eye for detail. Um, that little boy said that Pushol would do anything for a Hecran Bone. Let's go to Pushal's house and see if we might find her. Spoilers, we won't. <laughs> oh, hey, look, who's that girl? That just might be our girlfriend. Hey, nice buckets you got in this house. Photon Ray. Yes. This is my house. Enter at own risk. Now, I don't know if I really explained accents in this game yet. This game has what's called accent filters. Um, you can have three party members, and you, you can have three people in your party at one time. Basically, just count two because you always have surge, and they all have a different accent filter. So, regardless of who you have in your party and what they're supposed to say at any given time in the story, the accent filter is placed over it to where if we have Pushal in our party, you'll see we have if it's my house, it's her own risk. So Pushal has a lisp, and as you can see, Pushal is a pink dog. Yes. You used to cry and run away at the mere sight of a pussycat. Do you remember? When you were about wee high and you were attacked by a panther demon. I guess it left an emotional scar. But it's good that you've overcome that fear. Girls will think you're a weenie running away from cats. I don't think I've ever seen that interaction before. That is awesome. And a big thing to remember as the story moves on. Good morning, Serge. Don't tell me you just woke up. Don't you know that the early bird gets the worm? Lena's over there on the pier. Looks like her mother asked her to babysit again. Um, but yeah, I've never actually seen that dialogue to memory. I might have actually read it as a kid, but talking to the cat let us know that we were attacked by a panther demon. Keep that schnitzel in mind, my dudes and dudettes. Hey, that doggo looks familiar. Let's go talk to him. Her. By the way, this depth perception area sucks. Hello? You don't want to talk? Oh, hi, Sergey Poo. Me, I'm a bit busy right now. Have you met with Lena? Me think she was at the pier. So, what did you want? A Hecron bone? Uh, 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 is, is that a Hecron bone? Sergey Poo, a, a present? For I? How do you, how do you know um, to accept or not to accept? 
Hmm. Ahem. Me accept your present and me shall help you. Me will do anything you want. Me will be honored to be by your side. Me will use my pretty miracle power. X. Me will do it, Sergey Poo. Who shall join your party? And you could rename her, but we're not going to because Pooshal is an adorable name for a pupper. And that is how we get our very first uh, party member. So you'll remember we found a an ivory helmet. What I'm going to do now is go to status. Actually, we can do it from here. So Surge has a resistance of 5 and Pooshal has a resistance of 7. So obviously Surge needs the defense. So we'll go from 8 to 9. Very good. Oh, I guess that was standard. Resistance, not defense, but whatever. It's probably the same. Uh, but yeah, now we have Pushal in our party. I believe we need to talk to this bucket. Aqua Beam! Speaking of Bucket, I have a lizard named Bucket if you're new to the channel. So you'll hear me talking about Bucket Face every now and then as well. It's Mouth with Pants! Uh, these triangles are save uh, nodes. This one's a fake. But let's go talk to this kanji. Sure! And I think that's majority of elements we're going to find for now so we might as well equip them uh, to equip elements go into your menu go to elements and allocate now surge is a white innate character pushal is yellow white is going to be strongest using white you know it's like in pokemon a water pokemon using water moves gets stabbed same kind of concept so photon ray is a you see level one plus or minus seven so if we had put in the first rank it would have been a level one but now it is a plus two it's just a little bit stronger. I'm going to give him an uplift because we already have two of them. And I'm also going to give an uplift to Pushal as well as a cure here. So it's a little stronger. And then we'll put Aqua Beam right there. Um, and we'll get some more elements as we go. But hey, look, this little girl has changed positions now that Pushal's no longer with her. It's boring playing alone. Come on, Pushal, let's play. Me and Thori. Me, I'm a bit busy right now. We'll play later, okay? How boring. Yep, Pushal is with us now. Love it, love it, love it. But now we just have to go see a girl about a necklace. Uh, we could talk to that woman. Oh, let's talk to you real quick. The pier's up ahead. Listen, don't be messing with those boats. I'm sure you understand. A boat is like a limb to our fishermen. Pull only stunts like last time and I'll whack you in the head. Well, apparently we are a troublemaker but the woman uh, at the bottom that we got the yippee the frame from she's a merchant she can sell some elements and stuff but not really worth our time at the moment you're late Serge sleeping in as usual I suppose you promised you'd go we'd go <clears throat> you promised you'd go get some Komodo dragon scales for my necklace remember since you were late my mom asked me to babysit the kids woohoo Serge Elena look at me Come on, guys, you should join us. It feels really good. Unlike the rest of you, we're not here to play. Don't swim it out too far now. Okay, gotcha. So you were saying, Lena? Kids sure have it easy. Remember when we were a kid like that? Not a single care or worry in our minds. How each day lasts in an eternity, filled with newness, fun, and excitement. But the important thing now is not your, ch not our childhood, but, uh, huh. but the important thing now is not our childhood, but my Komodo scale necklace. Yes, we have to face up to reality and live each day anew. So I want you to go to Lizard Rock and get me some scales for me. I would join you, but I have to, um, st I still have to watch the kids. It's your fault. You were late. Once you collect this Komodo scales, I'll catch up with you at Opossa Beach. Is that okay with you, Serge? Sure, no problem. Be nice to Lena, by the way. Just trust me. Be nice to her. It pays dividends, and you just lose out on stuff if you don't. Good. That's what I wanted to hear. Okay, then. Don't just stand around. Go collect some scales at the Lizard Rock. Let's see. I think three should be enough. Good luck, Serge. I'm counting on you. Yes, ma'am. So, yep. That's our girlfriend. She is a lovely lady. And if you are rude to her, she'll hit you upside the head with a cooking ladle or frying pan. Literally, her weapons of choice are... um our cooking utensils. Well now, you're an Arnie. What brings you here to this quiet seaside village? Oh, it's you, Serge. Just don't be going near the Hydra marshes to the east if you go outside. Don't want you to run to those evil dwarves in that Hydra now. 
evil dwarves. So because he said that, let's go visit the Hydra Marsh. Also, listen to this music. Just, just listen. It's so good. But let's have a change of music and go to the Hydra Marshes. We'll have plenty of time to appreciate all this music, thankfully. Why, if it isn't Surge, didn't the village didn't the village elders tell you not to come near here? Yeah, yeah, punk, whatever. You're not my dad. Uh, there's also an area here. Also, look in that top right corner. Does that place look familiar to you? Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Interesting thing about this place is that when we highlighted it, it didn't actually have a name. So it's kind of a uh, quote unquote secret area. Um, oh my god, I love and severely miss pre-rendered backgrounds like this. They're just beautiful. Until you come in here and they're creepy. I love how it's all still photo, but the water is moving. It's really nice. Faces. God, this game is beautiful. Now, this location will be useful much later in the game. So, just remember it exists for now. Um, but yeah, I, I really do miss these kind of pre-rendered background game designs. It's just... It's like, right now I've been playing the Final Fantasy VII Remake, and as great as it is, it's beautiful. I actually am annoyed by how much I find myself looking around. Somewhat to see the environment, but also to see if I'm missing items. Whilst in this art style, you don't really run into that issue, which is really nice. And not just panning the screen around, standing in place. Hey, let's talk to you guys. The Pori Army is currently investigating the area. It's off limits to the general public. We will inform you when our investigation is complete. Pori. Some people say poor, some say pore. I say Pori. Um, teach their own, really, but. If you again, if you've played Chrono Trigger, much like with Hecarim, you'll remember the Pori Nation. They are a big uh, military power now. Good Cape How. And because it's the first episode, we do need to have a combat with some beach bums. We found the heal element, which is great. We have Cure, which is a blue element. Now we have Heal, which is the same concept, but it is green. And um, having different element colors is important because if you look in the top left screen, field effect, let's say the whole field effect was green. If I cast another green spell, it's going to be even more powerful. But if I cast its opposition, which is yellow, it's going to be severely weakened. So it's a very cool thing to, um, to keep in mind. And it's a very strategic thing if you're going for like a speed run. And now here you'll see that we have one, two, three, one is weak, medium, strong, higher percent chance to hit with weak. Also, I'm gonna go over to Pushal, look at her level zero, I'm gonna hit with a one, I'm gonna go up to two, or gonna go up to one, but now I'm gonna use two, and it went up to three after finally hitting. So the number corresponds to how much of your elemental grid will charge. Um, we're going to, I like to play risky. Ah, oh, no, it didn't pay off. We just missed a bunch. So let's actually just use Uplift. Plus two on it, mind you. Just pick up this piece of earth right here and smash it right there. Very good. Very good. I'm going to defend because you see my stamina is at nothing. Now it's at five. Ooh, squirt gun. That's their tech. You see that little egg looking thing next to the word squirt gun that means it is a specific thing to that creature okay seri seriously man our accuracy is balls okay 81% clearly means you only have a 20% chance to hit <laughs> I'm like is that the missed chance maybe just kidding sometimes you get bad luck in this game it is a known curse uh, but I'm not using any more elements right now because I want to show off something that I think is one of the best things in terms of game mechanics in this game that I wish we saw in other RPGs. Let's go for the big goal. Damn it. Come on, Pushal. Pushal's accuracy sucks, by the way. There we go. We won. So you see, we, we still had charged elements. Our elemental grid was still charged, and that is important. 
because look at that i have 43 out of 50 health and 28 out of 59 health with pujol also we gain plus one to our maximum uh, hp that's lovely use your remaining power and elements from this battle for healing i like to use max healing without using consumables boom we used two cure elements to fully heal ourselves and i absolutely love that um so we need to go get this right here a bone and let's fight this bad guy it's not really a bad guy it's just a wild creature that we happen to be picking on because i guess we're bullies not really sure but i love their eye stocks i'm gonna go for this guy thank you surge also let's just appreciate surge's really cool weapon it is called a swallow basically a double-sided weapon i think it's really cool looking Yes! Good job, Pushal. Um, Let's just go back with... Finish off with this. Very good. Let's us uh, just slash down the back. Ooh, good attack. Aw, oh, I really wanted you to use your tech. It's like some cool surf tide thingy, but let's use Photon Ray. I absolutely love this spell. Lightning bolt, but not lightning bolt, you know. And I love the fanfare, love it. In this round, Surge gets plus one HP. Lovely that. There we go. And we have one more place to explore, and then we will call the episode because I don't want to make it too long. You know, they're going to be roughly 35 to 45 minutes in length each, but the first episode's always. A longer one. Well, typically a longer one, not always. Let's read this. Surge and Lena. Forever. Isn't that sweet? The answer is yes, it's very sweet. Um but yeah, you know, we we've been friends with Lena all of our lives. <clears throat> Obviously we are romantically involved. That's why we're making her this Komodo necklace. It is the romantic gesture of the village so we got to be a good boyfriend and make sure we get her those scales however that will be in the next episode so ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching this first episode of chrono cross if you are excited for the series make sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with it and leave a comment because that helps the metrics so even more people can see and hopefully enjoy this let's play I just can't wait to do the next episode, which is not going to be right now because I need a break or else I'll continue terrible reading. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Do take care, but until next time, bye-bye for now.